Malachite. Malachite, from the Greek Malachitis, or Mallows, in allusion to the dark green leaves of the mallow plant. It is a carbonate of copper appearing in oxidized zones or near the surface of copper deposits, similar to how azuri forms and often found in association with chrysocolla, turquoise, calcite, and azuri. It usually shows as a botryoidal aggregate along cracked and fractured rocks where copper solutions once flowed. Malachite is one of the most recognized mineral species by the general public due to its distinctive intense green and bended look and its light green streak. Usually, this peculiar mineral does not form crystals, but when it does, it appears with a somewhat radiating fibrous habit in the monoclinic system. It is highly probable that malachite is mankind's first ore and is directly responsible for the beginning of the Chalcolithic era or the Copper Age, coming from the Stone Age. Malachite and azurite have been used as colors or paints for millennia, as their high color stability, high friability, and low hardness made them the perfect minerals for such endeavors. To turn these minerals into paints, they had to be crushed and turned into a powder. Coincidentally, turning malachite into a powder is also the first step in the smelting process to extract copper. Archaeologists and anthropologists have not found a clue as to how the thought process went into heating something non-metallic in appearance to extract a metal, but in our opinion, it is not out of the question to imagine that such powders only had to be misplaced by a distracted artist in a furnace and forgotten there for the discovery to have taken place. Due to the nature of the mineral species formation, malachite will sometimes appear as a pseudomorph of other minerals, especially of azurite. A pseudomorph is a mineral that entirely replaces a previously present mineral but retains the original shape of the first mineral. That is why, most of the time, when malachite appears with a distinct crystal shape, it has probably pseudomorphed after another mineral. A typical example of a pseudomorph is petrified wood. Its low hardness and relatively low density make it a very fragile mineral. Luckily for humans, these two properties render the seemingly useless mineral into the principal deciding factor for our success as a species in art and metallurgy. Wars were fought with an ungodly amount of bloodshed over this mineral's newly found properties. Kings, queens, tyrants and despots ruled and conquered village after village from the burning of its remains. Ultimately, entire cities and kingdoms underwent significant changes and humanity faced advancements and threats from a newly plentiful element, copper. When you lay down to rest tonight, I urge you to pause and reflect on the mineral species that have sustained your family's survival for generations. I urge you to give a special thanks to Malachite. For more on everything about minerals, visit my channel, Mendex. Thank you for sticking to the end. And always, please do not forget to caldera the like and subscribe buttons. Peace out, peace out, peace out, peace out.